What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters bonus clip. So today's video is just going to be a little bonus video that I'm going to do on the aside from my normal video upload for the day which was my Q&A today so that video should be up at the time of you guys seeing this so make sure you check that one out. Link should be in the description. But basically, if you are not a part of my Discord, I like to give myself little personal challenges for better or for worse. Things that are probably a little bit crazy, but hey, you know what? I'm not necessarily the most mentally stable person in the world, so hey, that works out. But when it comes to this challenge, it's kind of akin to what I had done with the flock of geese, the gaggle of geese, or whatever you want to call it, challenge that I had given myself a little while back against the Immortals, which if you had not seen that video, check it out, link will be in the description, it's pretty entertaining. But basically, what I had challenged myself to or this time around was to hit a billion damage against Guild Raid Hard Omega Rugal using SS Kyo Solo, and while, uh, while it was not the easiest thing in the world, it took me quite a few tries, I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing this for hours on end, for days on end, and uh, yeah, my thumbs hurt. But it was all worth it, because I have finally achieved my ultimate goal of hitting 1 billion damage solo using SS Kyo. Now, why did I do this, you might ask? Why would I put myself through this? What kind of surprise is waiting for me at the end of this glorious tunnel of challenge and thumb tapping that I have subjected myself to? Well, the short answer is there's absolutely nothing in it for me, and really all I get out of it is making this video that will be relevant for 24 hours, and then you guys will forget about it and I'll forget about it and then I just wasted hours of my life on this game that I'll never get back but it doesn't matter because I hit it I did it we are going to be seeing that in this clip here but I will have my build for my Keo at the end of this video if you guys are wondering about any type of strats or any type of kind of decision making that I make when I'm doing these types of runs with SS Keo solo I have a video on that very topic I pretty much break this down each difficulty, whether it's hard, expert, or lunatic, running Keo solo, and I break down the different strategies that I have found in order to maximize my overall DPS. If you guys are wondering about stone combinations and things of that nature, you can check out my video from yesterday. Link will also be in the description. I've pretty much run Keo through his paces and run him through the entire list of things that I could possibly think of at this point, and I'm pretty sure that I have covered him inside and out. So, for those of you who have any questions on SS Keo as far as his performance across PvE, chances are I have a video on it here on the channel, but I wanted to go ahead and leave this here for you guys in case you're wondering all the strategies, all the tips, all the tricks that I gave you guys in those videos I just spoke of, I did utilize in this run. I haven't really changed much of anything. All I'm really doing at this point is just trying to best my own personal numbers and trying to get the RNG to work with me for five minutes at a time so that I can get through these, but don't go into this thinking you're just going to be able to easily get through this and do this type of thing. This took a quite a bit of effort, especially considering the fact I am not on an emulator, I am not on a PC, I don't have a remote, I don't have any of these things, I don't use macros, none of that stuff, I just am using a phone. So while it is an ROG3, it's a very nice phone, it's still just a phone, so yeah, uh, a lot of tapping, my hands kind of hurt, like I said, because <laughs> again, I don't use any of the things that would make my hands not hurt, so yeah, it is what it is, guys, but as you can see from this clip, we are going to be able to finally make this run happen, and I am very excited to show this to you guys, this was something that, like I said, I have been working towards very, very hard hard in the background and uh yeah my guild i'm sure is happy that i finally achieved it too because i've been kind of slacking on lunatic and expert the past few days as a result but you know that's neither here nor there they can take care of themselves they're big boys and girls they're fine they'll they'll, they'll get through it but yeah guys so when it comes to this don't think that this is just something you're going to be able to if you're lucky enough to have a awakening level four or five ss keo going to be able to just you know, steamroll this Omega Rugal and hit a billion damage solo. It does take quite a bit of strategy. It does take quite a bit of split second timing. The muscle memory is real. I'm pretty sure at this point I know Rugal's movements better than he does at this point. So yeah, it, it takes a lot, but 
it was definitely worth it and it came down to the wire as you can see here i was almost certain i was going to just miss it but I was able to hit it, and it's a good thing that I am recording my audio over the audio that got recorded on this clip when I did it live, because, uh, yeah, I didn't have it set to record internal. It was recording microphone and external audio, and it's pretty funny to listen to my reaction both going into this fight and finishing this fight, so <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. I didn't even realize that happened until I was editing this video, and then I heard it, and I was like, oh, God. But, yeah, as you can see here, we hit a billion damage, and I will go ahead and show you guys what I ended up doing as far as my build so basically this is going to be the build here we have an Akane set that we are running here and the reason why we're doing this is that 30% chance to deal the extra damage equal to 150% of Kyo's attack upon landing an active skill huge amounts of damage that can be added up there and then we are also going to be using this option card here, the Twisted Truth. That'll give us that 50% chance to increase our attack by 13% for 5 seconds upon landing a Blast Active. So that's very nice with that S1. And then we are using this Gintama Collab card. I really like this as a cooldown reduction option. However, there are plenty out there that you guys can choose from as far as this is concerned. It really doesn't matter and it's not necessary. Neither of the option cards are really necessary. You can go with any cooldown reduction option card and you will get the same amount of mileage out of them more than likely. It might take you a little bit more split second timing and a little bit less room for error just because you're not getting that little bit extra damage that accumulates over the course of the battle with that Gintama option, but it is what it is. As far as my imprint stones, I'm using a volume 2 circle stone, a volume 2 square stone, and then a volume 1 hexagon stone. If you guys did not see the stone talk that we did yesterday, I broke all these down and did damage comparisons for all these. So in case you guys are wondering why I'm choosing this imprint stones I'm choosing, then you'll be able to get the answers to all those questions in that video. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it as far as this build. You can use any card set, really, that's worth its weight here. Honestly, the one that I recommend quite highly is going to be the City of Darkness. Or conversely, you can use the Gears of Fate set, which is also extremely good. Either one of them is going to be great because they're effectively the same set. So if you want to use that instead, go right ahead. It is going to require a little bit more RNG than it would with the Akane even though because you need to make sure that you're hitting that effect quite often throughout that fight. So you might have to, might cost you some more hours of your life to try and hit these numbers, but it is useful. And then Leah is also useful. You can use Leah if you want, but I am still of the opinion that Akane is just the be all end all for this type of run using Kyo, but your mileage may vary. It just depends on what you have available. This is an interesting bug here interesting huh the visual glitches on these cards recently is pretty impressive but anyway guys that is the video i just wanted to bring that to all of you and show you that run to show you that it was possible anyway i will see you guys in tomorrow's video i hope you enjoyed this one peace